Hello and welcome everybody to the feature main event. Copag face cards, easy to weave shuffle. We can do a normal dealer shuffle here. Riffle those really quick. Uh, these are, co here's the case that these came in, Copag. Lovely PVC, 100% plastic playing cards. I really like these, these are kind of a staple here in the Hobby John household. And if you're at home and you wanna play, go ahead and shuffle up your deck at home and grab two cards off the top. Let's do this right here. That represents my hand. And we're obviously not playing for anything, it's just for fun. And Paris Casino, look at this lovely chip. These are gonna be my card protectors today. I love the top hat and cane mold here on these Paris chips. The, I love the sky blue and the 1 8 inch edge spots. Love that one. Five is okay too. So. Paris, it really adds a lot to the strip, that casino in Las Vegas. Now, this represents, these are the card, these are the cards. These are the chips we're reviewing. This represents the pot here. I'm gonna burn a card. We will see a flop. Burn another one here for the turn. And the river. Can you guys see all those cards? This is where like, I'm, I totally played this blind, so I'm like rooting for like pocket sevens. Come on, sevens. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Pretty normal. Something that they don't necessarily, when people start out watching poker on YouTube, they miss all the folding that goes on. When you sit down in a game in Vegas, it's just like, it feels like 80% of my hands, 90% maybe I'm folding all the time. So something to consider. How did the chips do? How did the cards do? Let me know your thoughts about any of that. Now, by way of introduction, these are Sunfly Everest Resort Casino chips. They're not real casino chips. It's a fantasy casino. So it says resort spot and casino, but it's just make believe. This is a home set that you use to play poker in your home and they make their money off of shipping. So don't get too excited when you see the price on their website. Remember they, they have a, they have a pretty steep shipping cost. It doesn't matter if you're shipped, if they're shipping to Australia or to the United States, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. So keep that in mind when you're ordering them. And now let's talk about the chips themselves. These are a ceramic hybrid. So can you see the glossy label right here? It's a label with some permanent adhesive stuck on there. I haven't had any problems with these coming off. They feel very secure. It's not like a stick it note, you know what I mean? So pretty good design ceramics. Now these are 43 millimeters. And by way of comparison, let's see what we can dig out here. Let's throw in an Escona. This is also a Sunfly product, all right? So looking at this, you can see 43 millimeter, obviously four millimeters bigger than the 39 millimeter chip. Now, at first that seems pretty cool, but when you start accessorizing, right? So you're getting trays here. Let me grab a tray here. This is something that I just reviewed. I happen to have a tray here of Monte Carlo. Now these don't fit in these 39 millimeter trays. Okay. They just don't fit. So you need to buy special trays and you're not gonna get 100 unless they're a certain width and then you have to buy special cases and it gets to be an adventure in itself. Now, if you're looking for adventure and you like the four and you, you don't mind shopping for different things, it's all part of the hobby, then go for it. But just be aware that that's something to consider when you're purchasing kind of larger oversized chips. And you would make people make the argument, well, these are pretty standard. I, I understand where you're coming from. And they make trays for 43 millimeter chips. Just be aware it's gonna be a little nuisance finding specific things for your set. So that said, moving on to the materials here, ceramic, hybrid, and they are very flat. One of the great things about Sunfly, these are sold through the Apollo On website, are just, just the quality. I've been very impressed with the quality of these uh, hybrid ceramics. You can stack here. I mean, just look at this. Is that a complete stack? I don't know. Anyway, very, very solid when it comes to spinners, when it comes to flatness, when it comes to just the overall quality of them. I haven't had any problems with this brand or these chips. Now, the design. The design to me leaves something a to, to, you know, they leave something on the table, I feel like, because the 25 cent, now these are chips that you would expect to see in play together, but you look at this huge white quarter 
pi right here, that's white, just like the one. So on the 25 cent and the one, to me that bothers me a little bit. When you're looking at these, it's just easy to confuse. Is that forgivable? Yeah, you could get used to that. Just, you know, spend a little extra time making sure you get your bets right and make sure that, you know, you splash, you splash your bets so people can see. It's not the end of the world. It kind of adds a little bit of character to the set, but I don't know if that's my first choice, so something to consider. I'll show you a picture of the complete set. It's, it's not terrible, but something you should consider. If that bothers you, definitely. Now you're, now you're educated, now you can make your own decision. And the other thing that I do like about the design is Macau China. Thank you, yes. We see so many Las Vegas signs everywhere on poker chips. It kind of gets old, like here, like one of the chips that I, again, I reviewed recently, Key West, Key West Resort and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada, down here at the bottom. But here it's Macau, China, something different. To me, that really can make a breaker set. You know, it's like you see all these Las Vegas stuff and then finally it's like, ah, yes, Macau, the huge epicenter of all things gambling in Asia. So I love that about it. And I also love the design with Everest. I love the fonts. I love the mountain in the back. It looks like a really solid set. So no complaints about the looks other than maybe, you know, personal nitpicking about edge spots. And, you know, some people are very opinionated about this and rightly so. Like, oh, you should never have a white huge at quarter pie edge spot on something that's right next to the one, like a 25 cent. You know, I, I, I hear you. So Everest, loveliness, good design, solid materials, a little pricey on the shipping, not the end of the world. Uh, they shuffle like a dream. I guess the only thing left we have to do is a quick sound test. Let's see what I can line up here. Kicking around the table, we have some China clays. We have obviously some metal slug ABS chips. I was looking for some mono, here they are. Some Monaco's. And we should do some classic poker chips because I feel like they're pretty bright sounding as well. Let's see if I can grab a stack of these without knocking everything over. Key West. All right. Are these all Key West? Yeah, these look like they're Key West. Done and done. Let's make some of these stacks a little more manageable here. And 43 millimeter versus some 39 millimeter counterparts. We are not comparing apples to apples today, everybody. These are the ones that are up for review. Okay, Everest, 43 millimeter hybrid ceramics. Look at that loveliness. And somebody out there saying, hey, well, we want to hear some Escona so we can hear some 39 millimeter hybrids versus some 43 millimeter hybrids. And I have hooves for hands today. Man, that has a nice hearty clunk to it, doesn't it? I don't think these stick together like Bud Jones, do they? Maybe a little bit. Maybe there's some of my thumb juice on these. Anyway, lovely set. I'm, I'd be very happy with these Everest set. Just be aware of the shipping costs. If those are fine, and the shipping costs kind of limit. I think there's like a minimum of like 200 chip order, so it's hard to get samples of these. You really kind of need to commit and just buy a set of these if you're interested. Sometimes on eBay you can find a sample set. Uh, see what you can do. But yeah, I if I had hundreds of these, I'd be perfectly happy. This is a very, what seems like a durable set that I would really enjoy. I know, you know, the, the edge spots, the biggest complaint I have about these, they feel amazing. The quality is excellent. Uh, yeah, the price it might be a little bit steep, but they're 43 millimeter chips. So to me, absolutely worth it. Something unique, a unique offering here in the United States. Now, if you want to support the channel, please go to pokerchipforum.com, create an account. There's so many useful things on here. If you want to know how many of each denomination you need, how many, how many quarters do you need? How many, what I say quarters, but fractions, 25 cent chips. Do you need how many $1 chips do you need? 
they have a poker chip calculator on pokerchipforum.com where you enter things like you know all the information you need like how many players what buy-in all of that stuff and they you know it helps guide you through your purchase process very helpful they also have a chip design tool if you're looking at like classic poker chips so wonderful community pokerchipforum.com if you want to support the channel you can subscribe you can also go and purchase some things like these little cases that I store my casino chips in are called airtight cases. This is an H39 case. If it's 39 millimeter chips, how about that? And I have some of these available on my Amazon shop. So if you want to support the channel, you can go buy some of these. Again, check the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope this was useful. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. My name is John Hobby.